Salt water fly that I tied for a friend of mine. They had really good success with it. I caught a few fish with it, mainly bonefish. So I thought I'd show you exactly how I done it. I don't tie a huge amount of uh, salt water flies, so but this one worked. The main thing is if you've got what materials you have and make them work, then you're, that's what fly tying is all about. Now I'm using a UTC thread, and it's the 140, which is really a heavy one. Now. It's best to secure the thread to the hook, just at the back. The size of the hook is a size 2, and the cone head is a 5mm, or a, it's kind of like a quarter or so. Depends on the company you buy for it, they've all got their own way of sizing these. Now this is a tungsten, it's quite heavy. Now I've got, these are stripped hackle fibres, just the stems, the quill, and I've removed the hackle fibres from them. And we tie two larger ones on the top. These are represent the feelers. Just bring them round. Make sure they're on the top where you want them. And then remove the excess. Now I've got two short ones. Here. I put one on either side. Adds quite a bit of movement to the fly. You'd be surprised what these do. If so like vibrate in the water. Any movement like that will attract a fish. That's four on, it's plenty. Now the feelers of shrimp are actually quite big. Now again, I'm going to just add a wee bit more. Some super glue. You want your fly to last. It's the best way to do it. Now I've got some Mirage Crystal Flash. Which is excellent to mix in. Don't have the full length of the feelers, say half the length. Tie them on. I don't tie a huge amount of salt water flies, so when you get a fly comes back and it's caught a few fish, it just makes your day. Now, just to protect the back, I'm going to tie in some, this is 8 pound fluorocarbon, nylon. Now, you're tempted to use maybe a wire or something, but don't because the salt water will rust the wire, you better to use some nylon or so. It'll not, not, not so deteriorate. Now, the hackle itself I used at the back, these are just saddle hackles, or strung hackles we call them. Obviously because they're strung, sewn together. They're used for lots of things in the fashion world as much as obviously the fly tying world. Now, these are the short ones I've got here. I like and they, The short ones are actually very good because you get a nice sharp fibre at the end soft where you want it and this fine fluff at the top which is like marabou now normally you would remove that now i'm going to use some of this because it'll add a wee bit more more movement to the fly so i'll take some of it away and we tie it in by the tip just catch it on the side just remember you're winding over super glue and every time you're doing that it's sticking down Catch on the side and then just build up more like the feelers of whatever you've got. The cone head will get in the way of it, you'll catch it a few times, so don't worry, just take your time and wind this up. The, 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 the nylon there, when you bring it through, it'll protect the fibres, protect the hackle. Obviously make it last a wee bit longer. Just take your time and wind up. Get the fluff as well. Just remove the excess. Tighten up. Now I'm going to bring these fibres out. Bring them straight out so that I can bring the, the rib up through. If you bring them straight out, there's less likely that you'll catch trap in too many. But it's important that you bring this through. It's nice and tight, all the way up. 
and then a good three or four turns, come it across, fold it back, and all adds to the strength. See how it's how it's sitting. That's okay. Now the cone comes back to so around about here. Just push it up. Obviously, first what you've got to do is tie off. A few turns in. And what you do is finish with hand. Use a dubbing needle or whatever to bring the thread up. Just take away the thread just now. Flies really in two parts. Then come in. Some super glue again, all the way around. There's plenty. Just leave it for a second. If there's too much, just you can remove it. Just be careful though. Then slide the cone head down. Basically, push it up against the hackle. Then return the thread to the hook. This puts the weight at the back, causes the shrimp just to sit. And then again I'm going to tie in the, the nylon, use this as a rib. Now I'm going to use the material, a fritz. Now there's the two or three fritzes you could use. The one I'm using here is a UV fritz, it's Synergy. And it's uh, UV silver, it's a 10mm fritz. It's energy plus range, it's called. So, this is just silver and UV. Just bear, remove some of the flash from the stem, tie it down. Not your way up. Then, nice and tight towards the, the cone. A few nice tight turns in there. Stroke the fibre as you go, not your way up. Let's just keep going. I mean, it doesn't look a I mean, beautiful fly in any way, but not all beautiful flies catch fish. I say this one seemed to do extremely well, so I thought I'd show you how it's done, how I did it anyway. Maybe the excess. Tidy up. Now I've got a grizzle hackle here. It's a saddle hackle again. Just quite a short one. Tie it on the top. And fold the stem back. So adds again more protection. And then just work it through. You can use your fingers to bring the hackle through now. Either turn or two at the top. And just work your way through to get to the cone. Then get your nylon. Bring your nylon up through. Nice and tight. All the way up. Draw anything that's going forward with the eye, just draw it back. And across your thread. And again I'm going to tuck it back. Move. Nylon, then work finish. Move the thread and the hackle point. And there you are. Now get some veil, some velcro. Really mix flash or the, the fritzes into the hackle. Now you could cut one side of it, but it's entirely up to yourself. But while there is no fly, I didn't do that, just left it. Then all you have to do, a couple of coats of varnish in the head, and that's your fly done. And that there's your cone head shrimp. Give it a go, it's a bit of fun. And just for a variety, I tied at the back, instead of having the silver, cone head, I had coloured cone heads. One of the easiest hooks to get the cone round is be this one here. This is a mustad. The one O, I didn't have any smaller ones. 
but you can get smaller sizes than that. It's a basic hook, which will do the do the job. And there we are. And that's basically my cone head shrimp. Very simple. As I said, did catch a few fish. Mm -hmm.